I'm all good to go. I'm just going to swim this way. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Key to making a successful seal when soldering or brazing copper to copper, brass to copper, steel to copper, steel to brass is in the preparation phase, well before we light our torch and execute our task at hand. Step one, ensure all pipe joints are clean both externally and internally, pending the type of fitting you're attempting to seal. Step two, ensure all pipe joints are fully connected, fully seated, not obstructing the flow of refrigerant. Step three, through your refrigeration access ports, attach your nitrogen purge line connections in and out and ensure the nitrogen pressure setting is between one and two PSIG, no more. Step four, protect your sensing valves from being damaged by high heat. As a suggestion, wrap a cool, wet cloth in such a manner it will absorb any damaging heat and protect the integrity of your safety sensors and the thermostatic metering device, also known as the TX valve. Step 5. Safety PPE Personal Protective Equipment Before firing up the torch, make sure you are wearing all of your mandatory personal protective equipment. Eyes, hands, feet, body. Do not wear polyester. Step six, fire when ready. Check your fuel regulator pressure settings. Unless auto ignite setup like you have, use an approved spark system to ignite the fuel. That is not a cigarette lighter. That is not the cigarette. That is not a match. Acetylene first, oxygen second. Use a neutral flame. Set flame heat intensity for pipe size. You do not have to use a high heat intense flame, the same size for 1 and 8, 7 8, 3 quarter, 5 8 for a 8 inch equalizer TX valve line or a quarter inch sensing line. Do not overheat your joint. Relax. Take a breath. Maintain focus. Ensure you can access your work safely and comfortably. All right, back to the beginning. Here we go. Step seven. To ensure a leak-free system every time, I suggest you start from either end of the unit and systematically work your way from one end to the other, or develop a foolproof method that works for you every time. TSSA standards to meet. Use 15% sulfos brazing stick unless asked to do differently. Heat your joint first, heating the male fitting, then the female joint until it is cherry red. Let the heat of the pipe melt your 15% sulfos sealing compound. By aiming your flame towards the back of the cup, fill the cup to at least 80%. Do not overfill, do not use too much heat. When complete, Inspect your work visually and with a mirror when required. Awesome. See what I mean? Exactly. Why did I come? Well, 